Hi friends, welcome back to my channel where I help freelancers, agencies, and consultants land clients. On this channel, I talk all about lead generation and landing new clients. And if you scroll down below this video, I'm going to leave you a bunch of links that you might find helpful. When it comes to cold emailing in particular, one of the hardest parts is tracking down the exact email address that you need because people don't really broadcast that information because they don't want to be contacted. Fortunately, there are several tools that can help you find email addresses, so we're going to talk about a few of those today. If that sounds good, please help me out by giving this video a thumbs up and let's jump right in. To be clear, the tools that I'm about to discuss are not the only ones. They are just the tools that I personally turn to most frequently but just know that you have other options out there. The first is hunter.io. I've got a whole video on this tool specifically, so I'm gonna drop that link in the description below. There are a few ways you can use this. So they have a, an extension, and when you go to any website, you can click on the button for the extension, and it's going to pull up whatever email addresses it can find associated with that website. So here's an example using Reebok. Even if you can't find the exact email address that you need from hunter.io, you can guess based on the format of the email addresses that the extension is telling you. So using Reebok as an example, it looks like their email addresses are firstname.lastname at Reebok.com. Knowing that, you could just plug in the first and last name of the person you're wanting to cold email and wahoo, you're ready. You can also go directly to hunter.io, put in any web address, and it will give you email addresses just like the extension does. Hunter.io has lots of other cool uh, tools and features like email verification, so there are several ways you can use it. And you could get going for free, they're just going to limit how much you can do. Rocket Reach is another really cool one. My friend Sharice told me about this one, so thank you, Sharice. With this extension, you can go to any website and it's going to give you a bunch of information on the contact, like their name, their location, um, their title, and it will even tell you, if it can find it, uh, links to their social media channels. I use Rocket Reach on LinkedIn because it'll work on the platform to try to find that person's email address. As you find contacts, you can save them to your account and start building up your database of leads. Finder.expert is another one. Very similar to the previous two, they have an extension that helps save you a ton of time. And like I said, there are many other tools that you know do something similar. What I will typically do is kind of cross-reference across two or three of these tools to do my best to ensure that I have the right email address. The great news, like I mentioned earlier, is that with most of these tools, you can get started for free. Usually they will limit the number of searches you can do, or um, they're just gonna limit how much access you have to the tool. My husband is vacuuming, I'm sorry. Are these tools worth the investment? Some of them definitely are, but my advice to you will always be to start for free, try it out, see how you like it, and if it's giving you good results with the free version, then that probably means it's going to be a good investment for you. But always start free. One big disclaimer, many, if not most of these tools, uh, the way they work is they are making educated guesses when it comes to what someone's email address is. That's the best they can do, this is just how it works. Now you're going to notice that a lot of these tools have a built-in uh, email verification feature. So they might tell you how confident they are that the email address they found is accurate. So you can use these tools and confirm that the email address is correct, but just know that when you go and send that cold email, it could still bounce back. That happens, that's you know part of the, the nature of cold emailing and one of the reasons why cold emailing is so much more a numbers game than other methods of landing clients. You do wanna be careful though that this doesn't happen too much because it could negatively affect the health of your email address. So as I have encouraged you over and over again on this channel, yes, quantity matters, but so does quality. Quality always matters. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you need help landing clients and that's exactly what I do. I work with freelancers, agencies, and consultants, and I teach them my holistic process for landing new clients. If this is something you'd like to discuss more, then just scroll down below this video and I've left the link where you can read more about my program, Revenue Spark. And if you're interested in possibly moving forward, the next step is to book a call and speak with me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up and help support my channel. If you have any questions, 
just drop them in a comment below and I'll see you next time.